One of the major problems that we always have is that when we are hosting Namibian people, only want to show off cooking pasta, obviously. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yes, but don't you worry, that's where you find a compromise and you say, okay, if you want your porridge and chicken on your side and your plate, <laughs> so because. Ciao ragazzi and welcome back to Lampy. As you can see, I think from my outfit you always know if I'm wearing this, we are up to something that we are very proud of. So, how different are we really? We are totally different. Like we are from two different worlds, two different background stories, two different cultures, two different countries, two different colors, two different everything. Absolutely. So for today, we really want to share with you some of those major differences that we kind of deal with. It's it just some of those things if you, at the beginning of the relationship, you feel like, no, it's not going to work. We are way, it's like two black and white. Mm -hmm. We are going to talk about that. And yeah, stay tuned. Mm -hmm. If you're new here, give us a like, subscribe to our channel. And most important guys, leave always a comment below. leave a comment below. Before we start with this video, I also just want to say we have already some videos, especially about our life at the village that I'm just going to leave up here. In the description. And also, also another video I want to highlight here is our Tuscany vlog and our time when we are. So let's say the ba the first difference really for us is when... I talk about family. I think of my mother, my sister. Of course, we are only. If I just think of what people consider as a European family, we are only four. Mm -hmm. But for me, family is my mother's cousins, children's children. Mm -hmm. They are cousins to me. My grandmother's cousins. Family, they are family to me. So I, when I consider really direct family, I would just say my parents. Like, mm -hmm. then on addition to that, I take the mother side, all my uncles, my uncle, my cousins, my. Oh. Uh, even if he's a neighbor, so his neighbor is also family in their neighbors culture. Neighbors are also family. Like my neighbor's children that we grew up, if we grew up together. Those are like family. Yes, yeah, it's is like other cousins, Christmas even though they are not really blood related no, to you. No, but it's not about blood, it's like, you know, like those family from, I don't know, friends who became family, they so. just, friend, that's for me, family. Important thing, obviously you have to remember so many different names, but it's not really, it, that's not even important. For you is, you need to remember mother, like you always, every woman you can say mother, every Maybe every woman who look older, you can say kuku, mm -hmm. and every man you can say tatekuru, and all the kids you can always say suala, which means in law, you know, and mm -hmm. that's everything is done. And everything, so everybody is family basically. <laughs> no, it's, not, it's like a big family. I would say I can have a wedding only inviting my family, and I, I would say that's about probably 200 or so. And but we, that's why we are not having and... a wedding at the village, maybe. So tell me. So, from my side, this study is totally different. Of course, in everybody's mind, is the Italian family are big, are loud, there is a lot of food, yes. But not that's not the case for my family, unfortunately. We are a small family, and to be honest, we are not really well connected uh, with each other. Yeah, of course, I have uh, a few cousins from my mother's side that I'm really in contact with. But to be honest, we only meet during holidays, Christmas, Easter, and that is it. It's a little bit, uh, it's bad. I understand that it's also not really typical because if I have to think about other uh, friends of mine, their family is huge and they usually always find time for each other and uh, meet every single Sunday or Saturday. So I'm really from a different kind of family and I would say I'm not from a typical Italian family where every, every single Sunday you meet with, the, with your family member and maybe you have a lunch or a dinner together. People, especially around Rome, I would say family from Italy, I, for you I would say about 12 people. For me, I would say this is 12 VC, about 50 people, so or yeah, more. 50 or <laughs> no, more. Almost so, yes, yeah, small family to you know, now part of a big, big family. family. Yes. 
<laughs> now, another thing that I really wanted to look at here, mm -hmm. which is like a fight of every day in this house, is Italian food versus African food. And sometimes we also do a mix. Some mix work well, some are total failure, but so when it comes to I think the major difference, especially food for me as an African born and raised, for us, let me say pasta is kind of yeah, everybody in Namibia eat pasta. But for us we really I would say Namibian we eat a lot of meat. It's not because people don't know about vegetable, but it's just the culture because we live in a desert and most people definitely just have animals. It's easier to keep animals than to keep, and also like we have amazing meat production, but we don't really have amazing uh, vegetable production because you need a lot of irrigation system and water, all these things, mm -hmm. which is not the same if you just have, you know, cattle or if they just have sheep and things like that. So for that, every meal is always with more meat. Now, one of the major problems that we always have is that when we are hosting Namibian people, early want to show off cooking pasta obviously mm -hmm. amazing it's not now, really the good. problem is you are not thinking in your mind that if there's no let me say one portion if there's no hundred gram there has to be a minimum hundred gram of mm -hmm. meat per dish on that pasta then an Namibian person just look at it as an incomplete meal mm -hmm. that is the that's for me always a major thing and then also Oh, maybe a little bit too cheese. Cheese is also not my. Th it's, it's not like it's not my thing. Over time, we have been together, and I eat a lot of cheese now. But it's not like a Namibian thing, really. For maybe it's an African thing for somebody like me who grew up in the village. For mm -hmm. those who grew up in the city, maybe they had always cheese around them. And another thing that I would say is bread. All the time eating bread when you're mm -hmm. cooking dinner as part of your dish. That's also something. Mm, outside my comfort zone no. and it's always when we are having guests bruschetta it's... something let's like let's think about something like pizza also in namibia is i don't oh. think people uh, would like to eat pizza in namibia yeah they do eat pizza all the time the only difference is that we have our pizza with spare ribs we have our pizza with chicken we don't have pizza margarita is like when you are broke buy some pizza margarita for yourself <laughs> but <laughs> we, we have our pizza with more meat like pasta bolognese is for us really you have real meat yeah, in that definitely. you don't have a sauce. And also, like I would meat. say, one of the, uh, the, the the biggest difference is like in Italy, we have the tradition of having so many different uh, uh, dishes in one meal. Like uh, you have uh, dinner and you have a starter, then you have first dish and you have second dish, and then you get uh, this set, then after this set there is, uh, uh, of course, there is, um, uh, you know, the um, digestivo, which is a uh, little shots of uh, alcohol, then you have fruits, uh, and then uh, if you after fruits you want coffee because then you are too full and you are sleepy and you do and you don't know if you are able to drive, then you take even a coffee. So it's like a long process. Instead, in Namibia, what I have seen, like you have like one meal that is all in uh, in in one bowl, and then also the ritual because. Um, for example, uh, usually in, at the village when you are eating, you have this big plate in the center and then everybody is, e is eating uh, and sharing the meal from this big plate in the center. And that is something that is completely different between our two cultures. And also it's nice to see these this, this differences. I, I think like the shock uh, of my parents when we, they finally go to Namibia and visit the village and did the first time at the village with your parents, that would be <laughs> just amazing, I think. Yes, but don't you worry, that's where you find a compromise and you say, okay, you want your porridge and chicken on your side in your plate for yourself. <laughs> because, you know, like, you know, also when I took you to the village, everybody in the village, most of the people still have all these, like, plates, like in the city. Mm -hmm. in, when they are guests, they just, for us, you just don't use it. <laughs> Until when you have guests or when you have a wedding. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is here? The last point, this one, this one is going to break you or make you. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to money, finances, this num this next point is mm -hmm. one of those like you want to go big or go home thing. Italian wedding versus Namibian wedding. wedding. And if I look at our Italian wedding and how much it's 
it, it, we spend on the wedding. I would say to make an Namibian wedding, we would need about three to four times our budget to have oh, a wedding. Oh, exaggeration. Yeah, shuts, two or three shuts. times. How much a tent have. cost in the village, like the one that you have seen, like a village uh, transformed no into like a Las Vegas thing. You, you have seen those things. Uh, how much? Oh. I don't know. Hello? Yes. And in Namibia, you have, you have two weddings, literally. So you're not thinking yeah. of one wedding, mm -hmm. you're thinking of two different venues that are celebrating in the same way. Wow, wow, wow. And, and that in Italy, we have like combined budget. We say 10,000, that's it. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's so little if I think of an amazing wedding. Yeah, yeah. So you put a lot of money in the, in the wedding, much more than us. It is everything because you don't want your neighbors making threats. Threats about what? If they didn't eat enough, you know the They're problem. The no, no, the problem is that it's not like the people did not eat enough. Uh -huh. Eating enough is not sufficient to satisfy your neighbors. Mm -hmm. People want to eat until they can't eat anymore. Amazing. Most important, the second important thing for your wedding to be amazing is that people went back to their homes with enough food to pretty much eat the whole week. Oh. Yes, and also share with their neighbors. So let me say, you know, people are going back home with maybe 40 kilos of meat or things like wow. that. Yeah, so you, so you it's know? a person that they are at, like... We we usually have confetti, you know. The guests take uh, mm. take a confetti. Yeah, a confetti is like yeah, it's, 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 it's like a know, little present. Where you have a nice uh, packaging, uh, and that that is it. Instead, in Namibia, you take forty kilo of meat away with you, like alpha cow. You take forty kilo of meat, and then they also want to take maybe. No, I would say you know maybe a carton of beer that's left over from the wedding. They mm -hmm, take it to mm -hmm. them. <laughs> okay, so coming to the presents, what what are the typical presents that you receive at the, at the, at the wedding? At the wedding, you yes. receive a lot. Like you literally, like traditionally, you just get everything you can actually use in your home. Mm -hmm. So the wedding are attended by different guests from the city, from the village, people who live. In the village, you bring you everything like baskets, all this handmade stuff, clay pots, very nice stuff. Then people from the city bring you things like plates, plates. But it's massive, sweetie. It's massive. Mm -hmm. Like, I would say my sister got married so many years ago. And even last time we went home, there were still boxes that are not opened, <laughs> that are just plates. And baskets. Yeah, because if I think you can... And Yes, but I'm thinking if you get, let me say you get about 20 different sets. I think you get even more than that, mm -hmm. sets of plates. Because these are the cheapest wedding presents. Mm -hmm. Usually you need to give a set of plates. But you get 20 different of those. That mm -hmm. are not your style because you aren't choosing. People are just bringing you stuff. Mm -hmm. How long is it going to take you to use 20 different sets of plates? Don't know. I don't yeah. know really. It's, it's, yeah, but yeah, it's a big thing. The other part is also the, the vibe around the wedding. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Italian wedding rather is. Italian wedding uh, is. I don't know. If I have to think about the difference, for first is time. Like time uh, <clears throat> in Italy, the wedding one lasts afternoon. Uh, lasts one <laughs> afternoon all <laughs> yeah. One like day. Let's say the wedding. Day. You have one wedding day. Like. Everything, all the ceremony, the lunch, uh, the after lunch, the dancing, it takes place in one day. But why so short? I was really, for my wedding, I was complaining about that a lot. Yes, I know, but we had some partings before and after the wedding. So yeah, but still, the wedding should start at 9 in the morning at least, especially when it's only one day. 9 in the morning and the evening. Inside in Namibia, of course, how, how, how many days does it last? Minimum. You need a week of celebration. A week of celebration. Oh. You, when I was a child, I had beautiful memories of the wedding and my uncle's wedding. I would, I would even go a week before the wedding, mm -hmm. just chill there with the granny. Then I also stay a week after the wedding. So the whole holiday I was at the wedding place. And like, <laughs> it was nice. Mm -hmm. As a child, you know, you stay there until also the wedding cakes because they have so many guests usually the wedding cakes are not eaten at right the away. wedding mm -hmm. they are usually just eaten later so for breakfast in the in, in that house where the wedding was and usually we have two maybe three layers of of the wedding cake mm -hmm. one layer 
it goes to the to the bright side. The other, the second layer, goes to the groom side. Then the small layer usually on the top is for the two people that got married. They can take it to their new home mm -hmm. and show with their friends. Or and then some people keep this wedding cake for ten years. For ten years. Oh, you know, like waiting for anniversary if you divorce in the. <laughs> and just wait. I'm thinking after ten years, I you probably can <laughs> use that to build your house. That's a brick. As a break, <laughs> it's just yeah, ten years with a wedding cake. I think you know things that people make. You know things that uh, people sell you. Yes, don't you worry. Spend so much money on the cake; it lasts for ten years. What the hell do I want to do with a cake for ten, 10 years? years? To be honest, but those are the, that such things make the wedding cake expensive. Like I'll be, I can't even believe I'm every day I'm coming from work and I see a cake in my ah no no it won't survive it won't survive so throw it away <laughs> no it yes some dust <laughs> but yes I'm also some dust every uh, no okay yeah but what else good. what else when it comes ah, to wedding food of course we need to differentiate food like oh, yeah, yeah. in Italy you have. Yeah, I think it's pretty much normal, like you have a buffet at the, at the beginning where you, of course you have an open bar, so you no, have like people drinking mm -hmm. and then you have a lot of starters, antipasti, so you have cheese, you have fresh uh, made focaccia, then you have uh, you don't prosciutto. Have to go the whole list. Yeah, I know, I know, but uh, I won't make people salivating a little bit. And then, of course, when people is already completely full, that they say, okay, we can also go home, and then start a real dinner. So you sit down on the tables, then you have the first course, your second course, you have the, the and then you restart, and then you have uh, the buffet with the dessert. Oh, yes. And that we have different, for example, for our wedding, we had a ni really a nice... Uh, a buffet for the um, for, for the dessert so apart from the the wedding cake everybody there, there was like a huge table with different kind of dessert uh, the small one in the in the glasses the big one uh, uh, fruits and so on uh, yeah, it's nice there is a lot of food in Italian wedding I, I think the, the, not even uh, like your parents could complain about maybe no. there was not enough meat no there was enough meat prosciutto you can just get as much as you want there was uh -huh. enough meat obviously that was good mm -hmm. what I enjoy most in the Italian wedding is the guy who's just pouring wine in your glass all the time that one I would incorporate this guy in the Namibian <laughs> <laughs> I think he's going to be very tired. <laughs> what? Like, okay, everybody, everybody will like with a quest that there is a lion. But there are those amazing things and differences that I think in our relationship we look at this and we just embrace them. And mm -hmm. they are blessings. I love that we have that diversity, we have that variation. And this is yeah, art value. It. It's art value for our, for our like relationship. If you are to go to an Italian mm -hmm. wedding, you just go to an Namibian wedding and instead. instead. What do you have? Uh, like, what are the traditional meals when you at when a you wedding? Have, yeah, Namibian wedding. Obviously, meat. I mean, meat, 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 meat. Okay. However, it depends on the people that are getting married. Some people prefer to have Western stuff. Mm -hmm. Like you have uh, beetroot, you have carrot salad. It's like German potato food. is potato salad is a tradition at every Namibian wedding. That's just Which weird. Yeah, <laughs> but it just it. it just has always been there. Mm -hmm. So potato salad, you can have pasta salad and stuff. Some people now mm -hmm. go a little bit more traditional and do like you have a buffet of traditional. You have oh. oshigali, you have mapane worms, you have a kaka, you have porridge. Of course, you want to have a two liter of Anjovi, otherwise, it's not a wedding. Oh, two liter of Anjovi, that's a lot of work. You have the traditional dress. Mm -hmm. It's not a lot of work. What did I say? You have the traditional But I'm talking about. I, 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 was, I think <laughs> it's a traditional wedding, yeah, but you are a wedding, so no, everybody should have a traditional wedding. No, I dress. meant the chicken. On Jovi, it's not a lot of work to have two liters because you have so many guests. Mm -hmm. Every neighbor also just. You know, that's why you invite people a year before. Mm hmm. And they think already, no, I need to make onjovi for Ali and then this wedding. Every, every neighbor is making 500, 500 and they bring. That's nice. Yes. So that's how it's done. And then, of course, uh, what is the favorite meat? Do you, have, do you prefer like cow meat um, or goat? On the wedding day, sheep? you have mainly cattle, like just uh, beef. Mm -hmm. The day before the wedding, when you have, the day before the wedding is like just grilling. It's just grilling. You have, I don't know, 20 grilling station in the house. You have to be careful that the house, those traditional... Catch fire. Don't catch fire. <laughs> the, 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 the traditional head don't get... <laughs> yes, that's why you burned see... Burned down by... For example, the you see my parents' house is a little bit... Now I just 
spread. So, so yes, it was not like that before. But when there's a wedding, you definitely want to make sure that this grill station are not close to the traditional. <laughs> 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 They're just going to catch fire. So you just make like a big thing, and then you just say grill here, grill here, grill here. So all that is going to be just a really? group of ten people grilling. And wow. I love it's, it's like. I don't know, it's like different parties within this one this party, one party, which is really good. And also because you can say, you know, Danielle, I'm invited, I'm coming with who, and you go with your friends, mm -hmm. and you just grill and enjoy the wedding together. I think that's, that's, nice. that's, that's nice. nice. Food, I think that's pretty much it. You have also beans. It's, mm -hmm. You can really choose what you want. What I think I do not like is the Western food. Some people make it way, way too mm -hmm. waste, too Western. So if you have, excuse me, if you have like beetroots, if you have things that are a little too exotic, they won't really be eaten. Maybe only by a few people from the city. Although sometimes also people from the city they haven't seen traditional food in a long time. They want to eat the traditional food. They might also end up being eaten by the pork. Oh so, wow, that is a waste of food. Yeah, that's the, the only thing. That because understand. I remember last time I went to a wedding and I came back with there was a lot of beetroots that people just didn't eat, and mm -hmm. I took them home. And my understand. little so, sister were just laughing like. Yeah, I don't understand. So people usually take meat, but not the the vegetables. I just, I, I'm just trying to understand who wants to take beetroots to where for what at a village. I don't know. Yeah, but it's, no, it didn't happen. No, but meat, yes. Meat, yes, and maybe you <laughs> take something like rice. Mm -hmm. Like I would tell you things that can be taken: meat, mm -hmm. rice, potato salad, mm -hmm. and macaroni. And macaroni. Yes, this can be taken. But things like beetroots, just not people at the village don't like vegetables. Eat, they no. They are not. They, it's not something also that they're used to. Oh, okay. You know the taste of a it's beetroot. It's weird. It's weird. It's, it's like, what the hell? The thing is, I don't know. When I took it home, my little sister was just like literally. They ate everything else and they left it. And I was asking her like, this is weird. Remember when we tried to give the kids mm -hmm. avocado? Yeah. And how was their reaction? They're like literally, we are about to puke. We can't. <laughs> this shit is terrible. Yeah. Like, so it's it's just it's it's not the taste they're used to. Anyway, guys, I think we are done for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed that. And if you did, please leave us a like. Don't forget, if you didn't, subscribe to our channel. Share our video if you enjoyed it. And what else? Also, we'll be very, very happy if you check out our YouTube shop. It's just somewhere below this video. We have a couple of t-shirts, cups. Yeah, check out that there and pick up a mark written ciao 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 and oh, ciao ragazzi oh, ciao ragazzi and see you in our next video bye